Welcome to Black Angus Reviews, the place to be for new comic book readers. And today we got an exciting first issue to peruse. I'm not going to dig deep, do a, a deep dive on this, but we'll be talking about the overarching uh, story and why you should check this out. Uh, within the first week, this went into its third printing for comic stores to order. Some of that might have been multiple covers, but I think it also reflects just the sheer anticipation of a Jeff Johns work by image. And... Uh, what creativity he has in store for fans to jump on this right away. <clears throat> so, basically, this book is Dr. Manhattan from Watchmen meets Blast from the Past. Very oversimplification, and no, it's not really comedic. <laughs> uh, although I do suggest you check out both the Watchmen comic and movie by Snyder, director's cut, and Blast from the Past with Brendan Fraser. Great uh, comedic, interesting, unique take. Um, but anyway, uh, what I mean by all that is you have, uh, starting out in the book, you got these, um, in the near future, you got these guys in hazmat suits walking around in the desert and they find a crater and they end up making camp and, uh, they're talking. This guy's telling the story about this, uh, nuclear man, this glowing man that's, uh, a bit of a legend in this area, it seems. And, uh, you start learning about the origin story in around 2030, uh, so about 10 years in the future, uh, in this story. And you got this family who's got a fallout shelter, and this nuclear war, for whatever reason, starts. And, uh, people are trying to find resources, shelter, and they become very, um, volatile to each other because of, uh, you know, the necessity to, of survival. It makes people... Um, confrontational instead of trying to work together. It's all about, you know, uh, no one cares about me more than me kind of uh, instinct I think we all have to some degree before we overcome it with logic and work together. And in that scenario, uh, you got this guy who's about to lock his family in this fallout shelter uh, of some sort, and uh, they get uh, accosted by people trying to take their crap. So he locks his family in, and before he gets uh, killed, there's like a blast, and it kind of vaporizes him. So you assume. But uh, you go in the future, and there are marauders, rogues, whatever, uh, for a um, lord, so to speak, back in Vegas, who are, you know, searching for supplies, whatever they can find. You kind of in the pseudo-Mad Max kind of world. Um, so far, in the little bit we get in this world, not crazy vehicles or BDSM suits, but that kind of post-apocalyptic setting where uh, society's turned on its head and um, you get very extreme polar kind of leadership. And uh, they come across our character, Giger, um, who somehow survived, you don't quite know. And uh, you get a cool kind of look into his life once he chases them off his property, beats them up, and sends them on their way. And uh, it's simple easy to digest uh, opening but really great art by Gary Frank and colors by Brad Anderson and uh, it flowed very well so I'm really excited about where the story goes I will be uh, cuz I'm late to reviewing this I don't know where issue 1 comic physical is in my house so uh, that's why I'm not showing it to you directly with my camera but um I will be reviewing uh, issue 2 since that came out today probably tomorrow um, but yeah, I wanted to get you excited. Uh, if you're interested, hit me up on Twitter. I can give you a link to read this for free without any subscriptions or anything. Um, and yeah, let's, once you read it, let's talk about it in the comments. Uh, spoilers, what are you anticipating? Did you read issue two? Uh, because I will be reviewing that tomorrow and we can talk about that as well. But yeah, thank you all for joining. I appreciate it. If you're interested in supporting me, there's links below. You can join the channel, uh, for five bucks a month. And uh, that money's going to support me making my own comic, Meth Gator. So I very much appreciate it helping uh, support myself being an indie creator in the works. Um, so yeah, anything else you want to talk about? Uh, comics you think I should check out, so maybe review that just came out, or classic runs that, uh, as a newer reader, uh, you, th you would love to see my take on. Uh, leave them below in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter at Angus Reviews, and we will talk later. Thank you for joining.